Hey, what's up everybody? It's Jeffrey with DetachedDesigns.com. What I thought about doing today is, as a lot of you know, I do quite a bit of jQuery uh, tutorials. And it occurred to me that I haven't created a tutorial that is aimed at complete beginners. Um, most of the tutorials are training you on jQuery, but they also assume that you have a basic knowledge of JavaScript uh, as far as uh, syntax is concerned. So what we're going to do in this tutorial is I'm going to take you from the absolute beginning. So we're going to download the file, we're going to add it to our solution, and we're going to run a little bit of code, and I will take it step by step so you understand exactly what everything you're going to be doing is. So if you are uh, somewhat familiar with JavaScript and jQuery, this may not be uh, the screencast for you because it's going to be moving a little bit slower. So it's mainly aimed for absolute beginners. Okay? Having said that, let's go ahead and get started. The first thing that you're going to want to do is download the library. So we're going to visit jQuery.com, and that's going to take you to their home page. And right here on the home page, you can download the library. Uh, you can download a minified version or an uncompressed version. Uh, since this is just for testing and, and learning, I'm just going to download the larger file. But uh, when when you add it to your web application, you'd want to go and exchange that for uh, a more compressed version. So that's going to download the file. I'm going to open up my solution here. Now I'm using Visual Web Developer, but you can use jQuery with just about anything, so don't worry about that. I am going to go ahead, since I've already downloaded it, I'm going to add the library to my solution. Okay. So now you can see here, I have a blank .aspx page, but you know what? We're going to exchange this for an HTML page, and we'll just call it index.htm. Okay. So we have our blank page, and we have our jQuery library. Now we're going to actually import the library so that we can manipulate some data. So. We're going to change the title to jQuery for Absolute. And in the heading tag, we're just going to click and drag our file in, and that creates our script SRC for us. Now, we need to manipulate some data. So I'm just going to go ahead and create something extremely simple for you. Uh, let's, say, hmm, let's say we have a paragraph that we don't want to show unless the user clicks on a button. Okay, pretty simple. So I'm going to create a paragraph tag and just write some meaningless data. I should have copied something, but we'll just do this and we'll get the idea across. Okay. And now we actually need to click create some kind of button or anchor tag that we can perform uh, the operation on. So let's create an anchor tag. So I'm going to create an anchor tag. We'll have it direct us nowhere. And let's give it an ID of um, paragraph anchor. Something simple, OK? So let's close that out. And let's also give it some text. Click to read paragraph. So I'm going to run this in the browser, but for now it's just going to obviously show just an anchor tag in the paragraph. So with our jQuery, what we're going to do is add a bit of code that's going to initially hide this paragraph. But when the user clicks on the anchor tag, then we're going to grab that paragraph and slide it down so that the user can see it. So we'll also be adding a bit of animation. So there's our initial layout. You click on it, it obviously does nothing. So, let's get started. Um, we're going to add just a little bit of JavaScript to the heading tag. Um, you can also add it to an external file, but we'll just keep it simple for this example. So I'm going to do script type equals text slash JavaScript. Okay. So, the very first thing, this is going to be the very first thing that you do um, pretty much for all of your jQuery code. 
And we're going to start out by doing an abbreviation of the jQuery symbol, which will be the dollar sign. Okay? And this just lets us know that we're working with jQuery. Okay? So inside, I'm going to write documents in parentheses. And one thing about jQuery that I like, it has a very .NET kind of um, uh, functionality. So we're going to write dot ready. And then in parentheses, I'm going to write function. Okay. So, going over this, we're going to say the jQuery, when the document, meaning when the page, is ready to be manipulated, meaning once all the essential data has loaded, then we're going to write some code. Okay. So, when the document is ready, we're going to run a function. Okay. The function, we're going to have a open and closed parentheses, because we're not going to pass in any variables. And then I'm going to hit return. And we're going to open bracket, closed bracket. Okay, all of our data will go inside those two brackets. And then we need to close the parentheses because if you look right up here, when the document is ready, we have our open parentheses. Okay, so we need to close that out. And anytime you are finished with a statement, uh, it's standard to put a semicolon at the end. All right. So let's go back up and write some code. When the document is ready to be manipulated, we're going to grab this paragraph tag right here and just hide it from the viewer so they can't see it. So, ding ding, we get to use the hide method. So we're going to do this. jQuery, we're going to get p. This means get the paragraph tag. Okay, and we're putting p for paragraph, for the p tag, and we're going to put that in quotations. Now we can either either use just single quotations or double. So we're going to get that, and now we're going to do dot hide. Open parentheses, close parentheses. Uh, and then we're done with our statement, so hit semicolon. Okay, I'm going to save that and run it in the browser. And let's see what we have now. By the way, today is, I believe, you know what, I'm a freelance. It's uh, June 17th. If you guys are watching this today, you can download the new Firefox. Okay, so while that's loading, I want to go over this one more time just so you know exactly what I'm referring to. jQuery, get the document. When the document is ready to be manipulated, we're going to run a function. And the function is just lines of code that's going to tell our document what to do. So inside these two brackets, we're going to get the paragraph tag and hide it. Now you should keep in mind, if we have multiple paragraphs in here, the way our code is written, it's going to grab all of those paragraphs. But let's say you just want to grab, for instance, let's duplicate this. And let's say you only want to hide the first paragraph. Well, there's many ways you can do this. Um, we'll just take it the most simple route first. We can add an ID to it. So we can do ID paragraph 1. And as I said, there's a few ways you can do this that I'll go to in later tutorials, but we'll just keep it simple. And then, to grab that ID, we would do P with an ID paragraph 1. Now, this is only going to grab this first paragraph. And uh, for you CSS web develop developers, this may look familiar because here we are using actual CSS selectors, which is a big reason why I'm such a fan of jQuery. So let's run it, and as you can see here, the paragraph is hidden. So you can see you're already manipulating your page, and you're just getting started. So uh, I'm sure you can see how much power uh, you're getting with this. So the next step is to write that when this anchor tag is clicked, we want to then show that paragraph. And I'm going to do that in the very next tutorial. Stick around.